a brief overview then before the maiden flight. I've rearranged things a little. I couldn't use the original battery that I wanted as it was too puffed and so curved that it wouldn't actually stick to the Velcro there. So I've gone for another pack and being a belt and braces kind of guy, I've cut a ply plate underneath and uh, put a strap on there as well so that it should keep all the bits intact when it crashes. You'll note possibly also that I've moved the battery from there to the side here and the speed controller to the other side. Uh, my theory here is that as the propeller is spinning this way, there will be a torque roll effect trying to twist the plane in that direction. So this is slightly offset and maybe downhill with the following wind, they will counteract each other to some extent. The servos are just hot melt glued on there and I've cut a rather fetching matching tail at the back there. But there it is in all its glory. Looking at the control surfaces then you'll note that there's a little bit of up or reflex in the elevons and that's needed for any delta configuration. So again using my favourite pocket transmitter we power things up. Zero. Yeah. There we are, we're all ready to rock. So this is on full deflection, which is ludicrous, but um, I've got rates on that so we can tone things down. So there's the movement on the elevons in the elevator direction and stick right, the right hand one goes up, so that should be correct. All is good. Zero volts. I don't actually have the voltage telemetry on this, but... Uh... Throttle active. <laughs> we have more than enough thrust there for us to uh, crash at a high rate of knots. There we have it then, off to the flying field we go. Uh, just a brief introduction, you've spotted it already. <laughs> so a message of the day. Now, I guess theoretically you want to wingy. About there. Yeah. You do know you, you yeah. wingy sort of slightly it, flexing down. It is very, very flexy, yes. We will have to see. All the wobbly bits wobble. Yeah, that'll do. Are we ready? Well, she's flying against all odds. So, as uh, lacking in aerodynamics as it is, It's uh, it's flying. How long it will fly for, I don't know. I'm rather concerned that just sticking the servos on the top of the tape uh, may come adrift. But other than that, I think. Uh, Certainly it's a lot of fun, which is the main objective as far as I'm concerned. 
So, just a flat sheet of foam and uh, a cheapo pack from AliExpress. <laughs> and uh, a lot of fun, as I say. I think with that amount of Elevon throw, we should be able to uh, do some high alpha, I don't know. See it flexing away there, quite crazy. <laughs> well, it's lasted longer than I thought it was going to. Just a crawling speed there. It's making me smile anyway. <laughs> I think I nearly folded it in half then. <laughs> well, I've had my fun. I haven't broken it totally, so. What do you reckon, gents? Will it spin? We'll bring her in. That's enough fun. If it makes it that far. Yay! Well, <laughs> well, bonkers or not, aerodynamic or not, it flies. Pressure cut. And that was nearly nine minutes, so... The old gits live to play another day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> cut!